hello hello thank you for clicking on the video so i had to take a little break from my studies to make this video because i've just been seeing some silliness going on around in these youtube streets i've been seeing people posting videos about how the low sales from the color purple is all taraji's fault and how she shouldn't have chosen this time to speak about her pay disparity in hollywood so apparently, Taraji P. Henson is ready for the narrative surrounding the color purple to change. Now she is asking that the attention return to the film that was released last Christmas. Now, when Gail King asked her if she was thinking about quitting acting, I found nothing wrong with her response, at least that first response from the interview, except the part when she brought the color purple in. I think she should have omitted that about um, how she almost walked away from the color purple. Uh, she could have talked about that later on. Now, Taraji, I'm sorry, but you're not going to get paid a lot for this type of film. Last year, I did a reaction video to the color purple, and I said, while the movie looks good, while the trailer looks good, I myself will not be watching it. Why? Because the first movie was enough. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure most people would agree with that. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a reaction video to Taraji's heartfelt comments on the unfair pay she receives in Hollywood, and I agreed that predominantly black movies are very hard to sell overseas, especially when it involves black sorrow, pain, oppression, and slavery. Sorry, but no one wants to see that. When Oprah came out with the movie Beloved, that movie flopped as well. And this is what one critic had to say about the movie, like Beloved, and other movies similar to Beloved. Now, Jean Seymour from the Los Angeles Times said this. She says, a few lessons have been tenderly extracted from Beloved's tribulations. There is, for instance, the notion that slavery or any other serious topic related to Blacks have no future as subjects for theatrical movies. Beloved's example has been buttressed by the dismal box office of last year's Amistad and Rosewood, offering a cold slap in the face to the Black filmmakers who entered this decade believing they could finally tell their stories on the big screen to their audiences. Telling is one thing. Selling is another. High-mindedness has little chance against lowbrow schlock, whether aimed at Black or white audiences. Right now, however, I think Black filmmakers' best hope for artistic and financial fulfillment within the commercial marketplace is to infiltrate established formulas, romances, and soap operas such as Soul Food and Eve's Bayou. All right, so there you have it. <laughs> a movie like The Color Purple is not something that Black men want to see. It's not something young Black women want to see. It's not something other races want to see, especially overseas. This is something that will probably attract an older, mature Black audience. Furthermore, I don't understand why Oprah wanted to make this movie. The movie was a huge gamble. It almost seems as if this movie was more like a personal passion project or something because releasing it to the big screen, it did not make any sense. This is the type of movie that needs to go to Netflix. And I think Oprah just needs to leave movies alone or stick to Lifetime movies, or present it on the own network for her audience. And if you ask me, I think Taraji's constant ranting, I think that actually put more butts in the seats. So that's my thoughts on this. What do you think? Do you think this is Taraji's fault? Or was this movie destined to flop anyways? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks so much for listening. Bye-bye. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran to the no man, I still go Go, 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 go